Nation, which means Merry Christmas. Hey guys, it's me, Tracy Wise. Now, before settling into a cozy Christmas stateside, I flew to Lake Lucerne, Switzerland. Here you can ski and enjoy the miraculous Swiss Alps, and you can also stay in town and enjoy a traditional Swiss Glühwein. If the weather outside is frightful, you might as well spend a cozy Christmas in Switzerland. And remember, you can travel more if you travel wise. Missed you again, uh, but my last big meeting in Paris was canceled, so I'm heading back to the States early. So yes, let's definitely try to get away, uh, do your travel magic. Oh, uh, that's Chloe, my counterpart here. I'm supposed to be on the Rue Michel something, but <laughs> I am definitely lost. Talk soon. show you something. If the weather outside's frightful, you might as well spend your Christmas being cozy in Switzerland. And remember, you can you travel, can travel more, more if you travel, travel wise. More. That's your tagline. You get it? Because your name's Tracy Wise? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's cute, but what has it got to do with us? Well, I thought maybe she could come and review the B&B. You think some famous jet setter's gonna come to Silver Peaks, Vermont? Yeah, Barb. Yeah, why not? I mean, she's already been to Fiji, Phoenix, Montreal, Arizona. Why not Silver Peak at Christmas? It's a good time. But, Graham, what's the goal here? I mean, we need paying guests, not invited bloggers. Exactly, Mom, okay? This is the first Christmas the Parkview Hotel's been open and we have zero Christmas guests. <laughs> uh, hello? <laughs> Please, Barb. You were born in this house just like me. Or did you forget we're sisters? All I'm saying is if just a small percentage of her followers came to visit us, I mean, that could make a huge difference. gingerbread house while my boyfriend sits beside me filling out spreadsheets <laughs> but hey you gotta appreciate a cozy night in when you can get one so until my next big trip remember you can travel more if you travel wise a romantic getaway we invite Tracy and her boyfriend here for a romantic winter getaway. Hot chocolate by the fire, twilight walks in the snow, maybe a candlelit dinner for two. Yes! It's a good idea. I'll message her now. <laughs> Ask her if she has any cute single friends for Graham. Tracy, we would love to invite you and Mark for a romantic weekend getaway at our own Silver Peak B&B. Coming! So, where is your next big trip? believe this. I literally just got invited to this beautiful little bed and breakfast at a place called Silver Peak, Vermont. You have to see it. And the owners, Sarah and Graham Cooper, invited me and a plus one for a romantic getaway. And it's crazy. I think it's meant to be because Mark and I were just discussing or exchanging voicemails about how we need to reconnect over Christmas, you know? And come on, Annie, don't do that. Do what? So you're going to Vermont with the merger and acquisition, Mark. That's great. When are you going to get on board? He's been my boyfriend for over a year. 
Yes, but you've only seen him for three months in person in that time. I think it's been more than that. I just worry that you're more into the idea of Mark than the actual guy. What does that even mean? On paper, he's perfect. Handsome, well-educated, good job. He travels for work, just like you, so he understands that part of your life. Yes, and he's a nice guy. He is a nice guy, but nice. Is that enough? I just want you to be excited, inspired, deeply in love. I want you to have a wonderful relationship, not a nice one. And what if the biggest thing you have in common is your frequent flyer miles? Okay, I've said my piece. If Mark is the one, I will support you. And I just want you to be happy. You know that, right? Yeah, of course, you're an amazing friend. And you have an angel baby. Oh, she's an angel when she's sleeping. Which is always. <laughs> she's a good sleeper. The problem with living where you work is you never know when to clock out, huh? Yeah, well, the way I see it is if Tracy's gonna come stay here, she'll probably be in this room and I just want it to be perfect. And these locks, very temperamental. <laughs> Honey, I hope you know how much I appreciate everything you sacrificed to keep this place running. I couldn't do it without you. And your dad would be so proud. Well, don't worry. We're gonna get this place back on top. Besides, not everybody wants to stay in a brand new, modern day, top of the line hotel, right? The Parkview may have a jacuzzi tub in every room, but do they have my elderberry scones and honey butter? They do not. They do not. No. 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 Does the kitchen have any? Yes, it does. Right now. Butter? Yes. Perfect. Unknown caller. I wonder who's calling me. Let's find out. Annie. Annie. Oh, terribly sorry. We're looking for someone called Tracy Weiss. Oh, yes, hi, that's me, and you are? My apologies, you must be wondering who is this dodgy bloke calling you out of the blue. My name is Sam Phillips. I'm CEO of Lux Voyage Magazine. The Lux Voyage Magazine? Tracy has every one of your issues. Well, not all 276, I... The holiday edition ones are really hard to come by. Well, I'm so pleased you're a fan of Lux Voyage, Tracy, because I'm such a fan of yours. Uh, Sorry, my flight is boarding in a few moments. The reason I'm calling Tracy is I'd like to offer you, uh, shall we call it, an audition to write for Lux Voyage magazine. I, I, Sam, that's a, that's an amazing opportunity. I'll email you a list of properties. You let me know which one you choose. We'll book you a room. You write a piece, and if it's as good as I think it'll be, we'll bring you on full time. <laughs> That means five-star accommodations, international travel on us, a weekly byline, and a competitive salary to boot. What do you say? I say yes. Smashing. Well, well, we'll chat soon. Okay, great. Oh, oh, and Sam, if you don't mind me asking, where are you off to? A little town called Rovani Emi in Finland. It's near the Arctic Circle, and the Finns insist it's the true home of Santa Claus. The Northern Lights are spectacular. Well, just one example of the many places you could be traveling to one day. I'm sending the email now. Cheerio. Did that just happen? Yeah, it did. Where is he sending you? Oh, um, let me check my email. <laughs> okay. Here it is. Okay. Dear Miss Wise, some properties we need evaluated. Fairfax, Virginia. Allentown, Pennsylvania. Columbus, Ohio. I mean, you're not visiting Santa's house on your first trip. That's fair. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Wow. I mean, okay, it's hot there. And no way! What talk about meant to be the last hotel on the list is the Park Hue Hotel in Silver Peak, Vermont. <laughs> Wait, is it a conflict of interest to do two places in one town at the same time? No one's asking you to sign an exclusivity agreement, so just start up Park Hue first and then mosey on over to the B&B. That's not a conflict of interest, it's convenient. You bet it is! Yes. Okay, Marcus, I've got 
the clubhouse here. And did you want another top of the clubhouse? Here. Here. Oh, hey there. I'm Jenny. Welcome to Max's. What can I get you? Um, I was gonna get a coffee, but I guess I should ask about the milkshake of the week. Oh, oh, it's gingerbread. Real cookie crumbles on top. Oh, that sounds way better than coffee. Smart choice. <laughs> <clears throat> Made it to Silver Peak. Stop at this adorable little diner. Having a gingerbread milkshake, then onto the park view. I am in the wrong line of work. <laughs> For you. Thanks. No problem. Oh, hey there. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, he's my husband. That's not the standard greeting around here. Better not be. <laughs> uh, Dan, this is. Tracy, hi. Oh, hi. Are you passing through town? Most people are. I'm just visiting, actually. Uh, I hope you're not staying at the Snooty Parkview Hotel. Oh, uh, well. Uh, uh, sweetie, she, she can stay wherever she likes. We're friends with the family who owns the bed and breakfast in town, so we can't help but be partial. Yeah, Graham's like a brother to me. Wait, Graham Cooper? Yeah. You know Graham? Uh, no, not exactly. Who knows me? <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> hey. Oh, I'm. <laughs> oh. Whoops. I'm so oh. sorry. <gasps> Tracy. Graham? Wait, yeah. Wait, you two know each other? No, I I, I thought you were older. Oh, uh, was it something I said? No, I just I no, when you messaged me to stay at the bed and breakfast, it was signed Sarah and Graham, so I just assumed Sarah's my mother. Wait, wait I'm lost. So you two do know each other? Yeah, no. Uh, online. Okay, this is Tracy Wise. She's the travel <laughs> blogger. She's here to review the B&B. Oh, Tracy, you're that Tracy. D travel more if you travel wise. That's me. That's her? <laughs> so you're not staying at the park for you. <sighs> that place is the worst. Oh, um, I... Well, I see that you found the diner, and you tried the best milkshakes in town, so we'll have to remove that from the Silver Peak tour. I'm really sorry. No, it's okay, really. Oh, Tracy, I'll get you a fresh one. Yeah, uh, Graham, coffee? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Make it a double on the milkshake, honey. So, you're here already. Oh, well, yeah. But Did you I, fly or drive? I flew, but. I gotta make a quick call, then I'll grab your luggage, put it in the truck, and I'll give you a ride to the BB, okay? I, um, Graham. Wow, he's really up in his game for you, Tracy. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you're a fancy travel blogger, eh? I'm not that fancy. <laughs> Silver Peak Bed and Breakfast? Mom, hey, Tracy Wise is here. Where? Here. Yeah. It might help if I know where you are. I'm at the diner and she's here. What? She's not due for several days. We're not ready. What, the blogger? Uh, well, you better get ready, because she's here. So you said. Okay. 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 Well, Mary it is. Okay, here we go. No milkshakes for you, mister. Dr. Stone was in earlier. Apparently you forgot to mention your cholesterol was up in your last checkup. <sighs> it's fine. Just a regular guest, right? Semi-famous influential guest with a boyfriend. What? Oh yeah, Boy where is the boyfriend? <sighs> Tracy, hey. Uh, Nice room for you at the B&B. I think you'll love it. Um, sure I will. Oh, uh, where's your boyfriend? Do we, should we wait for him? Mark? Oh, you have a boyfriend? Yeah. I mean, my mother mentioned that she booked for a romantic getaway. Yes, we are. Um, yes. It's just he's been held up a few days because of work, and so I would maybe need to stay a few extra nights. Yeah, that's, that's fine. The room's available. Yeah, that's part of the problem around here. Well, shall we go? Yes, sure. Uh, yep, we should. Uh, um, thank you. For thank you guys so much. It was <laughs> lovely meeting you. Yeah, yeah it, was it was lovely. Good meeting you guys too. Hope to see you soon. Put this on my tab, thanks. After you. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs>
Jen. Well said. Oh, please. Let me grab it. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Uh, I'm just gonna make a super quick phone call, but I'll be right in. All right. Okay. Hey, Trace, how's it going? Mark! Oh, you're packing. That's perfect, because I am actually, I don't know, things got mixed up in Vermont, and I'm already at the Silver Peak bed and breakfast. I mean, I guess it's fine. You know, I could switch the plan. It's just two people. How many baked goods should there be? Some people prefer muffins. That's all I'm saying. And I am the older and wiser sister. Mom, don't underestimate your scones. They're delicious. D Where's Tracy? Did you lose him on the way over from the diner? Relax, OK? She's just making a phone call. All right, and it's none of them, not yet. Apparently her boyfriend's not coming till later. And she's early, or did I mix up the dates? <laughs> Off to a great start, aren't we? Sarah, it will be fine. You're the one who's telling me to make muffins. You're getting all in my head. I mean, I guess I'll just switch to the hotel after the drive, but could you maybe uh, drive up tomorrow? Mark? Um, I'm not actually packing for Vermont. Oh. Okay, well, do you think, you know... Tracy, listen, there's, uh... There's, there's a few loose ends to tie up with the deal, and, um... I... <laughs> I'm going back to Paris. But... You just got back. Yeah, no, I, I've been thinking about that a lot, and... and about how hard it is for us to line up our schedules and just be together. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's why I planned this trip, you know, so we could reconnect. But that's the thing, what happens after Christmas? What do you mean? When, when I get wrapped up in another months long deal and, and you run off to several far off destinations. Especially with the new job. Yeah, but I still have to get that job. And I mean, I, I don't really know that that would change things that much. And Plus, I, I always feel like I'm boring you when I talk about work. No, not at all. Come on, you don't care about depreciation or liquidated assets or management-led buyouts. Well, I'm sorry if I haven't taken an interest. I... Look, Mark, I didn't realize that it bothered you, but I can work on that, you know? We can, we can work on this together. But that's the thing, Tracy. Should we have to work so hard? What do you mean? Maybe this just isn't the best idea, you know? What are you saying? Maybe we should call it. <sighs> She's just standing there. And Barb, look, if she turns around and sees you spying on her, it's kind of embarrassing. Come on. She'll come in when she's ready. Yes. <gasps> Yoo-hoo! Tracy, is it? Oh, it's chilly out there. Why don't you join us inside? Welcome. Yes, of course, sorry, I was just, um, thinking about things. <laughs> <laughs> can I take your coat? Oh, Graham, why don't you take Miss Wise's bag up to the room? Oh, you can just call me Tracy. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Coffee? A warm apple cider. Uh, we don't actually have cider, but I can make some if you like. <laughs> My sister is an amazing cook. Me? I burn water. Oh, um, <laughs> tea would be lovely. Thank you. My elderberry scones, straight from the oven. Wow, oh, those look <laughs> delicious. And I was worried that you and Mark would prefer muffins. Mark? Is he coming in his own car? Um... We know he also travels for work. Oh, you do? Graham introduced us to your account, and what can I say? I was hooked. All the wonderful places you go, and you two are such a charming couple. Uh, well, uh, we... Um... Thank you. This will work. Right? You might not see it at first glance, but Silver Peaks is the perfect destination for a romantic weekend. We used to have an annual Christmas mm -hmm. dance, December 23rd, year after year. 
Something always seemed to be in the air. A lot of couples matched up during that event. Including this one and Graham's dad. Oh. Well, this has been so lovely, but it's been a really long trip for me. Would you mind if I head upstairs and, you know, put my feet up and unpack? Of course. Would you like me to show you to your room? Oh, no, that's okay. I can find it. And, and these are delicious. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Let us know if you need anything. I will. Okay. <laughs> I think you took a wrong turn. <laughs> oh, I, I saw you standing in there and I just thought. Oh, no, I was just getting that ready for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, are these you? Yeah. Oh, was this your room when you were little? Oh, it is my room. Oh, you live here. No, I mean, that's how bed and breakfast works. Like the people who run the place usually live there so that they can. Yeah, right. I yeah, guess. serve people. Right, I know that. I just I thought the ladies ran it. They do. They do. I help. Uh, so my mother, she's been running this place for, I don't know, over 30 years. My Aunt Barb, she's visiting. You know, she's kind of a reverse snowbird. She moved to Florida, but then she's with us from, like, Thanksgiving to New Year. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Can I show you to your room? Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. Please, after you. Okay. That's not embarrassing at all. Okay, bathroom's in there. We got extra blankets, towels, pillows. With this pillow, reminding you to be merry. That's new. Breakfast is at seven. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um. Listen, I should probably mention that earlier when I made that call. Sorry to interrupt. First of many little touches during your romantic weekend. Wow, this is so unexpected. We can't wait to meet Mark. The Park View isn't the only place in town for a romantic getaway. From the moment they open their doors, they put this place in jeopardy. Before last year, this was the only spot in town. Okay, Babs, we don't need to. Uh, Tracy, we're, we're fine. But of course, we'd love to expand. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we let her settle in? Come on. All right, right. All right. Did he tell you where the extra towel was? Yes. yes. And the blankets? Yes. And so breakfast is at seven? Okay. Anything okay. else you need? <laughs> Absolutely. OK. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> the strawberries were a nice touch. I think we're off to a great start. What do you think, Graham? Great start, right? Great start, yeah. <laughs> Off to a great start. strawberries to my room. So, yeah, that was my first hour here. I cannot believe Mark. What? I thought this is what you wanted. You've been asking me to break up with him for months. I would never tell you to break up with anyone. As your best friend, it is my job to subtly help you figure it out. Oh, yeah, you're real subtle. I just wanted you to realize you could do better, not for him to break up with you over the phone at Christmas. Ugh, I knew I didn't like that guy. Hey, you think the Coopers will notice if I review my romantic bed and breakfast getaway weekend without my romantic partner? Also, they hate the Parkview Hotel. It's their only competition here, so I can't really bring that up either. It's really not panning out the way I thought it would. Trace, you travel the world all by yourself a million times. Dealing with the unexpected, meeting all sorts of people, this is a piece of cake. And if you ask me, you could stand to slow down a little. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. 
Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, kiss the baby for me. Consider it done. See you in a few days. Love you. Hey, good morning. Hi. Hey. Uh, any suggestions on things I could do around town? Oh, we've come up with a few ideas. Mm, yes, we have some perfect activities for your romantic getaway. Although, the best romantic event would have been the Silver Peak Christmas dance. Mm. Oh, you mentioned that earlier. That sounds so special. Yeah, but you're a little late for that. Yeah. <laughs> Who could it be late for it? It's not even Christmas yet. Yeah, you're about five years too late. Yeah, that's the last time we had a Christmas dance. It used to be so much fun. But hey, listen, I don't have to do any, you know, so-called romantic activities since I'm kind of here on my own. We're about to decorate cookies. Oh, that sounds so fun. Oh, wait. It's the last day of the Christmas craft fair. You can't miss that. Mm. If Mark doesn't come in time, Graham can take you. Well, that's a great idea. Graham knows this place like the back of his hand. No, I don't want to intrude on your day. Oh, no, you wouldn't be intruding. Plus, it might be kind of nice to have a tour guide. But no pressure. Then it's settled. It is? It is? Yeah. Now let's get you an apron and bake some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, hmm? don't just stand there and eat them. You can help decorate. Here, add them an apron. Tasting's a job, too. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so, how was Switzerland? Oh, it was so amazing. Thanks for asking. I love that you guys watch my blog. Um, hey, thank you so much for inviting me here. I'm having so much fun. Aww. I don't think I've decorated cookies since I was a little girl. Aw, it's a tradition around yeah. here. You know, yeah. <laughs> this one, when he was a boy, he used to make snowmen, but he had to make them with four cookies because he had to eat one while he was decorating them. Every time. That's a true story. Is that what's happening right now? Uh, yeah. Well, you have to stay fueled in order to do the work. Oh. Right? I don't know what's going on. There's a system. Oh, it's hard to make a snowman. Okay. Okay. okay, let's do it. Great. You know what, you guys, it's getting kind of late. You should probably head out to the Christmas fair. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I need your opinion. This is a very serious decision. Mm -hmm. Reindeer or Christmas lights. Well, hey, when in doubt, I'd go with the reindeer. Oh, good choice. <laughs> I'll take this reindeer onesie, please. <sighs> hey, thanks for taking me here. I'm having so much fun. I just feel like it's so festive and so beautiful, and I love going to all these different booths, seeing what people are selling. Thank you. I feel like I'm in a snow globe. Well, I remember when I was a kid, I'd Aww. save up my money from all my chores. Mm -hmm. Then I'd come here and I'd buy my mom a Christmas present. Aww. And it was always like candles or ornaments, of course, based on my budget, right? Of course. I'm sure she loved that. She did. Well, well except for this one year. I uh, kind of lit all the candles at the same time. It was like cinnamon, mint, peppermint, <laughs> vanilla. Yeah, it was bad. Anyway, I don't know. And Barb got really queasy. Oh, man. So tell me about the Christmas dance. Uh, yeah, you, what do you want to know? People danced, right? I, I know that, but I mean, if it was so successful in town, then why people get rid of it, hmm? Well, I mean, it wasn't like town got rid of it. It was more like Mother Nature did. What do you mean? Okay, well, I mean, every year, the dance would take place at the Grange Hall, and that's kind of the center of Silver Peak, right? Okay. Uh, so about four years ago, the Grange Hall burned down. A couple weeks before that, city council voted to allocate all these funds into these projects that are particularly suited towards this new fancy hotel that was moving into town. Parkview Hotel? You got it. So, hey, no Grange Hall, no dance. It's really sad. I'm sure, because your parents met there, I'm sure they would have loved to have celebrated their anniversary every year. Uh -oh. My father passed away about three years ago, so my mom wouldn't have a date to take to the dance anyway. I'm sorry, Grandma. I... Wow, your family's kind of been through a lot in the last three years. Thank you for recognizing that. It's just really been rough on you guys. Uh, we should go. Thank you. 
so much for everything today. My best friend's really gonna love this reindeer onesie that I got for her baby. <laughs> That's great, yeah. Um, well, listen, I got some work to get done, so. Oh, so late? Yeah, yeah, but I'll, I'll see you later. Okay, sure. Yeah, looking forward to meeting that boyfriend of yours. Back so soon? Yeah, we uh, we cut it short. Um, hey, didn't you say there was like a leaky faucet in the basement or something? I'm gonna go have a look at that. Graham Cooper, do you think you're gonna get off that easy? We thought you and Tracy hit it off. We did. We did hit it off. Look, she has a boyfriend, okay? I, I don't wanna intrude on that one. It doesn't matter how much I, <laughs> I'm just not gonna be that guy, okay? I'll never be that guy. Of course you're not. But what happened with- Mom. I just don't want to talk about it right now, right? All I'm saying is you can't let what happened in the past scare you away from future experiences. And I agree with you, okay? I, I get it, I just I don't know what else to do. Show off? Oh no. What? Everything okay? What, what am I looking at? Tracy's boyfriend in Paris eating a baguette with another woman when he's supposed to be here. Really, you sure? How on earth did you find that? Well, I follow Tracy on social media now, so I was reading her posts and I saw several with this Mark fellow. So I clicked through his account because frankly, I was curious. It's not even private. Tracy's boyfriend is in Paris looking very cozy with another woman. There's only one takeaway from this. I knew I never liked that guy. You guys still having the same conversation you had last night? Tracy's boyfriend isn't being upfront with her, and we know, and she doesn't. It's newsworthy. What are we supposed to do? Tell her? She'll be heartbroken. She's here for a romantic getaway. But it's none of our business. Yeah, but we can't just not mention it. Surely Tracy's gonna see the post soon enough. See what post? <laughs> Should I be worried? <sighs> I don't think so. You can do better. What? Barb. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Wow. Um. Um. Listen, I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't completely honest with you all. You already knew about that? Well, no, not that specifically, but... Mark and I broke up right before I got here. Or right as I got here, that was the phone call I was taking on the porch. But either way, he's not coming. He's clearly predisposed. And why didn't you say anything? I was embarrassed. I mean, I posted him all over my social media, and then you guys were asking me about him, and I just... I mean, he dumped me, you know, over the phone, and... She's got nothing on you. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, she, she probably... She probably... Oh. Actually, I think this is a woman from his Paris office. She probably likes liquid assets and depreciated buyouts and stuff like that. She's probably perfect for him. You okay? It's okay. We weren't really right for each other anyway. I'm kind of the last person to figure things out. I'm sorry that happened. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna head outside, just fix some lights. I don't know what I'd do without him. Excuse me for just a second. Well. That was interesting. Sam? Hi. Tracy! I'm about to go to a Finnish state park to see the reindeer. And you're calling me to brag? <laughs> oh, what fun we're going to have working together. No, uh, that's why I'm calling, to see which property you're going to review for your tryout. Oh. 
Oh, um, I'm, I'm gonna be reviewing the, the, the Parkview in Silver Peak, Vermont. It's actually really Mr. Phillips, huh? Can't wait to read it. Um, can you have it done by next week? Oh, yeah, um, sure. I mean, I'm kind of nearby, so. Brilliant. I'll be on the lookout. Oh. You ready? Coming. Okay, well, uh, enjoy the reindeer. <laughs> Jim? Hi. Can I give you a hand? <laughs> well, you're not a certified electrician, are you? <laughs> what? No. Well, I know you have a law degree. I wouldn't want you suing me for negligence. You know I have a law degree? Yeah. I yeah. read it in your blog. <laughs> you did a, a deep dive with, you know, that one. <laughs> Hi. Really? It's cold out here. Anyone want some hot chocolate? Yes. Yes, please. So you, um, read my blog, huh? You fishing for compliments? Maybe. Well, yes. I do enjoy reading your blog. Oh, oh well, thank you very much. Well, you're welcome very much. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask, though. Okay, honestly, what did your parents think when you decided to kind of give up on using your law degree? I didn't give up on my law degree, okay? I just used it for a very, very short amount of time before changing the trajectory of my life completely. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, both my parents were lawyers, so they kind of expected me to be a lawyer too. And I don't know, call it a lack of imagination, but I, I made really good grades though. I have no doubt. Yeah, But uh, I think everything kind of changed for me on my bar trip. What's a bar trip? Oh, it's a, it's a trip that law students take between taking their bar and finding out if they passed. Uh, and I went on mine for a couple weeks. It was hard for me to keep my family and friends updated, so I started a blog so I could update all of them at the same time. And, and that's when you decided it was time for a career path change? I, no. No? <laughs> you haven't figured out from my last relationship, which is evidence of, it kind of takes me a a minute to figure things out. <laughs> but I started working at a very respectable law firm for 80-hour work weeks, and it was so miserable. But the upside was I could travel a lot, and I could actually afford to do it, so I would leave, and every time I did, I would continue with my blog. <laughs> and finally, after two years, I realized the only time I was happy was when I was traveling. You know, I would think about it, and I would plan for it, and that's really what got me through. I would just slog through the work week thinking about my next trip. And then finally, I realized I didn't want to slog through life. You know, I want to experience it. So, now the blog is ad-supported and I get invited to amazing places like the Silver Peak Bed and Breakfast in Vermont. It's pretty great. So, anyway, what about you? Did you, did you always know you wanted to go into the family business? My dad always expected it, yeah. This house has been in my mother's family for generations, so after my dad died and then just with everything else that's been going on lately, well, it feels like we could actually lose this place. No, hey, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I wanna believe that. Look, I can't make any promises, but hopefully my blog will help a little. Well, admittedly, I did tell my mother, I said, hey, just a small percentage of her followers like could come and visit us. That could be a big difference. Okay. And, and I know it's not that simple, right? Like. Hey, blog, boom, people. Uh, I don't know how else to compete with Parkview, honestly. Do you have to compete? Isn't that how business works? I mean, it's kind of like, hey, you gotta have the best cookie, or the best vacuum, whatever it is, and then, I don't know, increase your customers and hopefully increase your revenue. Well, yeah, sort of. But I mean, come on, there's like thousands of very successful cookie brands, and I mean, I don't know much about vacuums, but there's a lot of those, so. You know, what if it's not winner takes all? It's just winning back a small piece of the customer base. Okay. Yeah, I could tell them, hey, we're smaller, we're older, and we have way less minutes. <laughs> you can't think about it that way. You I know. To... <laughs> I know. Focus on your strengths, all right? Yes. So, and maybe you could do something to bring people's attention to it, you know? Like, <laughs> like what? Like, well, I don't know, maybe just 
Hey, what if you reinstated the Christmas dance? I mean, I'm just, sorry, I'm just throwing ideas out there. You can shut it down. It's, it's, it's probably pretty crazy. No, that, that's a great idea, actually. I mean, it, it's personal to the town. It, it, it's fun. I'm, it's the complete opposite of the park team. <laughs> Good. We just need to throw a dance, like, in a week. That's daunting. No, I didn't mean for this Christmas. I meant for next Christmas. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Next Christmas. Unless we're not here next Christmas. Well, I could stay and help. If you want to do it this year. Yeah? Yeah. OK. Yeah. All right, so we're throwing this dance in a week. Yeah. And we need. OK, uh, we need a venue. Yes. It's going to be available in, in a week's notice. So yeah. do you know any place? Show you something? Yeah. Well? You think you're gonna have the dance for the whole town out here? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could put up a giant tent. Uh, I don't know, some heat lamps. I mean, we could serve hot cider. Eggnog? Hot chocolate. <laughs> Maybe I could build a dance floor somewhere. Graham, this is a great idea. And, and having an event space out here could really bring in a whole new revenue stream for the bed and breakfast. I never thought of that, actually. It's a really great idea. Oh, and we could decorate it. Like, just go crazy. Make it super festive. Yeah? Here, I'll show you. We have decorations. <laughs> we have way more decorations in here. <sighs> this is cute. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be enough stuff, but let's see what else we have here. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. <laughs> what is this? Ah, uh, it's kind of childish. It's just something I was doing in college to keep track of places I traveled. It's clearly not as many places as you have gone. I think that's amazing. It's not childish at all. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, camera? Were you a photographer? Uh. <laughs> I dabbled once upon a time, yes. And you started helping out at the bed and breakfast? Yeah. Your mom said this to you a couple times, but she's really lucky to have you. Thank you. Appreciate you saying that. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe. Chloe? Yeah, I mean, we could be apart for weeks at a time, but he has to rush right back to her. Oh, that guy, he's... Lucky. He's lucky he found her, you know, and... I'm happy for him. That's honestly so mature of you, Trace. But I'm sorry that your romantic getaway was really Oh, I'm okay, really. And actually, I'm gonna stay here for a little while longer. Help plan an event. An event? The Christmas dance. Town used to do it every single year, and Graham told me that the real reason he invited me here is because the B&B is struggling. I thought it might be a creative way to bring in some business. Something different. So you're planning on staying for a Christmas dance you stop? I'm just trying to be helpful. Mm-hmm. Oh, someone's awake. I gotta go, but say hi to Graham for me. Bye. Hi. Hey. You ready? Decorations, that's a big space. Yeah, maybe we could borrow some. Yeah, or we could ask people from the community to donate extra ornaments. Or we could just go into the back country and cut down a bunch of evergreen boughs. What's an evergreen bough? Okay, city girl. I thought you were all well traveled. An evergreen bough is a um it's a branch. <laughs> the button just say branch. <laughs> okay, well, 
Hey, what if we host a little bow decorating party, huh? That's a great idea. <laughs> Fun, we could have a bonfire outside. Yeah. Oh, I'll get my mom to make some of her homemade peppermint marshmallow s'mores. Oh, that sounds delicious. They, they are delicious. Hey, what do we have here? Hey. What are you guys working on? Hey, Tracy. I'm sorry, is he bothering you? I told him you were busy working. Oh, working on what? <laughs> Well, uh, Tracy had an idea to reinstate the town Christmas dance. Oh. oh, that's gonna make people around here so happy. Yeah, but we need to get some decorations so we're actually gonna host a bonfire at the bed and breakfast. Oh, and we're gonna turn it into a bow decorating party. Whoa, that's what cool. a night. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get Sarah to make some of our peppermint marshmallows so that we can make s'mores for the kids. Ooh. Oh, good, so Dan can come. <laughs> He'll eat them. Yeah, probably. Because <laughs> okay, so what if we actually opened it up to the public? You know, maybe we could attract some out-of-towners. Ah, uh, yes, attract some out-of-towners. Maybe some of the out-of-towners from the park view. I could write the event up on the specials board. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, that's uh, Aiden. He's an electrician. I'm going to see if he can help us with the dance lights. Right. So what else are you going to inspire around here, Tracy? Oh, I mean, the bonfire was Graham's idea. Still. You opened them up to the possibilities. Yeah, sometimes Graham just needs a little push. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what about me now? Well, I was just actually telling Tracy about your haircut in the seventh <laughs> grade. <laughs> are you serious? No, that's not cool. OK, are you ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what are you two up to? Well, we're going to go see what we can get for free. Yeah, he's uh, told me that we need to go into the forest to forage for Evergreen boughs, just a fancy way of saying branches. Yeah, you did say you're from Manhattan, right? Yeah. Well, best of luck, you too. <laughs> yeah, good luck, you guys. Let's roll, Manhattan. See ya. <laughs> Mom and Barb? In here. Hi. Hey, hi. Hey, hey listen. Uh, Tracy and I have some ideas we want to run by you about the B&B. Yeah, I mean, they're just ideas so oh. far, but what is <laughs> Tracy posted photos from the porch, and we already have 53 new followers and a Valentine's Day booking. <laughs> That's wow. amazing. That's great. Those are pretty good Fine. photos. I mean, I could get my camera out too, grab any additional promotional shots if you want them. That'd be great, honey. Okay, you guys, dinner is literally on the table, so we have to sit down and eat. Oh, yeah. All right. <sighs> so, what are these plans you were talking about? <laughs> Whatever it is, I say yes. <laughs> Tracy's ideas are already helping, so you name it, I'm on board. Oh. Oh, this looks delicious, Mom. Yeah, this looks amazing. <laughs> Tracy, tell us what it's like running a travel website. Oh, what do you want to know? Is it difficult traveling by yourself all the time? Does it get lonely? Uh, not exactly. I mean, I meet so many amazing people, though. I have to say I wouldn't mind having a travel partner. Ooh, are you hiring? I get motion sick, and I'm afraid to travel on the left side of the road, but I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I got a, a new job opportunity. Lux Voyage Magazine called me recently. Wow, really? Does that mean that you'll have to shut down the Tracy Wise website? I mean, I think I have to, right? <laughs> Will you still do your cute videos for Lux Voyage? I think so. I hope so. They're so funny, mm -hmm. and they're so you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Well, it's a really prestigious magazine, so it's a great opportunity. Of course. And they'd be lucky to have you. Thank you. Excuse me. Hmm. Silver Peak Bed and Breakfast, this is Sarah. Yeah, that's me. A bonfire. Oh, they did. Oh, what did you do, do? At the diner. Yes, well, I'm glad they told you, too. Well, we'd be delighted to have you at our bow decorating party. OK. <laughs> Great. Looking forward to it. OK, bye. Allison, you said that you were on board. It's true. You kind of signed the contract without reading it, Mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we said you were the hostess with the mostess, and now you're going to have to prove it. I love parties. <laughs> this will be fun.
No, I'm really proud of us. This looks great already. Yeah, it's really coming along. Yeah. Hey, thanks for your help, by the way. Sure. Hey, um, why was your camera living out in the shed for so long? Did it have to do something with your dad, maybe? Yeah. After college, I was backpacking through Southeast Asia, and I mean, man, you can really spread a buck out there. You know that. Yeah. And I must have taken a million photos, and I wanted to do more. More photography? Yeah, and travel. But, you know, my daddy, he always thought photography was more of a hobby, not a job. Yeah, well, it's all about to all the photojournalists or wedding and portrait, fashion, and travel photographers who make a really good living. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? And I was an old kid, so I think he just wanted something better for me. Greater income, more stable, 401k. Yeah, kind of like being an attorney. <laughs> exactly. Oh, Graham, if, if you like photography so much, I mean, you have a really long life ahead of you, you could still do it. I don't know. I promised my dad that I'd take care of my mom. Plus, I just think that that's what a son should do. Yeah. He always took care of the maintenance around this place, so. He kind of took his place? Yeah. You know, once the park view opened, I, uh, you know, I, I got rid of my lease downtown. I funneled all the finances from that into this place. Uh, took care of a few things, fixed a few things up. But to be honest, I just kind of kept us afloat. But hey, now that you're here, I don't know. I think maybe we actually have a fighting chance. Well, I'm really glad I could help. <laughs> and I'm glad you invited me here. Yeah, me too. What was that? Yeah. Oh, bunnies? Chimmunks? <laughs> Deer. Oh. Bear. Bear? <laughs> Maybe. You want the truth? Uh... I'm just kidding. Regardless, we gotta get the bows out of the truck. Are there bears here, though? Please don't leave me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm gonna have a sap on my hands for days. It's so sticky. That's Mother Nature for you. Are you gonna answer that? What? No, I have sap no. all over my hands. It's gonna ruin my Here, phone. Here, give me this and you grab the phone. You got it. Okay. You got it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hey, sorry it took me a second to answer. I have sap all over my hands. It's funny you should mention nature. I'm at your place watering your plant, and I think I'm here a little too late. Your friend's looking extremely sad. <laughs> No, it's no worries. Um, how are you guys? I miss you. We miss you too, but it seems like you're having a pretty good time. I mean, I happened to follow the Silver Peak BNB online and I saw a little photo of you and your host. Oh, Sarah? No, Graham. Stop. He's. Stop, okay? I'm, I'm just here visiting. For way longer than originally planned, with a very cute guy. He's, he's... He's what? He's... Okay, fine, he is really cute, okay? And, and thoughtful and funny and... Tracy, you like this guy. What? No, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it just... I don't know, does it really matter? I mean, you know, he lives here and I live everywhere. Since when has geography ever gotten in the way of your dating life? Just don't leave without telling him how you feel. Otherwise, you'll always wonder. And I think I need to buy you a new plant, preferably something plastic that doesn't need water or sunlight. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Bye. All done? Holly. 
<laughs> Still putting your ornaments on the tree? These were our mother's ornaments. You've helped bring so much joy back into this house this year that we've decided to give you one too. So Barb and I got you this as a kind of a thank you. This is for me? It's yours, but it stays on the tree this week. So sweet, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much. Let's see, I'll put it right here. <laughs> Okay. Is this one Gramps? It is. I got that for him. Christmas, his sophomore year in college. He'd been taking photography lessons, but after... he just stopped wanting to put it on the tree. Well, I really hope that he picks photography back up. I mean, he's so talented and he really loves it. I hope so, too. It's now or never. Hey, everyone. Hi. Is that my camera on? Yeah. I'm looking everywhere for that. <laughs> they make a good pair, huh? Uh, <laughs> we are going to go and check on the baking for tomorrow. We'll be right back. She's so subtle. Oh, look at this. Okay, so when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I had a dog, his name was Bernard. He looked exactly like this, minus the wings. Mm. He would always bark at the ornaments, so we just got him his own ornament. You know, I, I really want to know the story behind this one. It's this guy. Did you make this? Uh, it depends, do you like it? <laughs> okay, where should we put him? <laughs> Back in the box. <laughs> Quit front and center. No, I was serious. Hi. Hey. Barb and Tracy head up to bed? Uh, yes, ma'am. Well, I got this all stowed away, so is there anything else you need me to do before I call it a night? I need a moment with my son. Okay. Sit down. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Everything okay? Uh, you know, it's not. You do so much around here, and I should have known why. Not sure what you're getting at, Mom. Gran, your father, before he passed, did he ask you to stay here with me, to run this place? Okay, a few things. Uh, did, did Tracy say anything about that? No. Your aunt overheard you, and please don't be upset with her for telling me. I'm glad she did. Is it true? Oh, Graham. Your father meant well, but he was wrong. Okay, I wouldn't say that he's wrong. Mom, I'm your son, okay? I love you. Right, I want to take care of you just the way that you've taken care of me my whole life. But that's just the thing. It's not your whole life. You have so much left to live. And I'd never forgive myself if you didn't spend it however you want without worrying about me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning. Can I offer you a cup of coffee? Sure, but your hands are full. I'll get it myself. I'm right here. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone make marshmallows before. It's one of my holiday traditions. These are for the bonfire tonight. Looks like a lot of work. It's actually really easy. I'm one of those people, I would just go to the store and pick up the bag. Yeah, but they just don't taste the same. I'm sure. <laughs> Is there anything I could do to help? Absolutely. Here. OK. There's these. Just give them a little, little dusting. OK. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You know, it's been really, really great having you here. You and Graham work so nicely together. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> he's, um, he's gone through some tough times. Yeah, you mean losing his dad? Yes, of course. And, um, also his last relationship. It, uh, it didn't end up well. Oh. It's nice to see him. Smile again. Thank you. Good. OK, what's next? <laughs> well, we got to get this in here. <laughs> there they are! Hi. Hey. Thank you for the extra oh, thank decoration. You. Pine bows are over there. Go get some s'mores. <laughs> yes, I... <laughs> I'm going to give you all one of them. You can use all of them. Just make it as sparkly as possible, okay? The more sparkly, the better, okay? And then we're gonna put them everywhere. Yeah, we always thought he'd be one of the ones who left Silver Peak. Yeah, not just down in Boston or in Albany or anything like that. We were expecting postcards from Mount Kilimanjaro, the Coliseum in Rome, <laughs> yeah. or even the Great Barrier Reef. So all those push pins by his map? Unpush. Not pushed? Either way, he didn't go. Yeah, but something's changed since you arrived, Tracy. It's like Graham. Woke up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, peppermint marshmallows. Where have you been all my life? Hey. <laughs> so, what I miss? Oh, just my husband eating his 15th s'more. <laughs> you should take a picture. Jenny, Dan, you gotta get in there. And, and Graham. <laughs> Sam, hi. Uh, how's it going? Are you still in Santa's hometown? New Zealand, actually. I'm doing a wine tasting. Oh, I actually haven't made it out there before. Well, that's not why I'm calling. Oh, okay. Tracy, can you tell me why, if I've asked you to review a property in Silver Peak, Vermont, that you're posting round the clock about the only other property there? Well, I wouldn't exactly say round the clock. I... Look, Sam, I really didn't know that the article was on a rush, but I mean, to be fair, I'm not on payroll yet, and I, I was already staying at the B&B when I agreed to try out for Lux Voyage. I just don't want your judgment to be skewed by spending so much time at the Parkview's competitor. <laughs> well... I think that's kind of being generous to the bed and breakfast, calling it a competitor to the Parkview Hotel. Well, the Parkview is still holding a room for you on Lux Voyage Magazine's dollar, I might add. I hope you can get over there soon and we can see your piece shortly thereafter. OK. Mm -hmm. uh, have fun in New Zealand, Sam. Bye. Graham. Hey. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to eavesdrop, but I couldn't help but overhear. It's being generous, calling us a competitor to the park view. Look, Graham, I'm sorry, okay? That's not what I meant. Well, then why would you help us if you didn't think that we had a chance in competing? Well, that's not what I meant. I... Uh, well, that's what I heard. I... You know, unless I'm wrong, please. <sighs> Okay, fine. Look, I know how you feel about the Parkview Hotel. Why okay? would you support them? I'm, I'm not supporting them. I'm... It feels like that. <laughs> Look, I, I mean, I, you know, I'm a travel blogger, right? I, I go to different places and I travel and, and, and I'm in a tough position here. But listen, if you had any conflicting feelings inside of you, you could have mentioned that to me. You know that, right? But... 
I just, it's, it's a job, okay? I had to write a review for both. So this is just a job now? I, I don't know. You're the one who invited me to come here. And I did, and I wrote you a, a great review, and I'm gonna go. What? Hey. So that's it? You're just gonna go? I don't know. We have to go to the park view. Um, thank you so much. I'm good. Is there something... Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, uh, Merry Christmas. Understand. I thought everyone had a lovely evening. And you both look so cozy by the fire. Yeah. yeah, well, this wasn't real, though. Apparently, she was just here to do a job. Graham, don't you think you're overreacting just a little? I. Am I? No. That there's a face of a totally reasonable man. I'm going to leave you two to talk. Okay. I don't want to meddle, but has it occurred to you that you might be pushing Tracy away, not because she's done anything wrong, but because you're afraid of getting hurt again? Does it even matter, Mom? Look, she came here to do what she wanted to do. She helped us, and now she's gone. Maybe she just doesn't belong here. The question is, do you belong here? I wasn't kidding when I said you had my blessing to get right on out of town. And don't get me wrong, I would miss you like crazy. But I'd rather miss you than worry about you missing out. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> Life's only as complicated as you make it, kid. Sure. I just gotta be right, huh? Or meddlesome. Are there any events happening tonight? Events, ma'am? Yeah, you know, like some way for me to meet other guests, maybe something festive. Well, the concierge can help you tomorrow to plan some outings in the area. There's excellent skiing and antiquing nearby. That's great. Thank you so much. Um, oh, can you also please send up another blanket? Of course, ma'am. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's nice talking to you. Ask me. What? When I knew Jenny was the one. I wasn't gonna ask you. <laughs> yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, I know you, man. And it's impossible not to see that you and Tracy have something going on. I think we did. Yeah. Also think I might have ruined that. So then fix it. Make that sound very easy. You make it sound a lot harder than it really is. You sound like my mom. Well, Mrs. Cooper's a really smart lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you want, Graham. It's just a matter of you're willing to do something about it. Yeah, I think I just kind of got caught up in the mindset that nothing could change, and now all of a sudden, it's possible that everything could change. 
Yeah, if you let it. Okay. I'll bite. How'd you know? <laughs> Jenny makes me want to be a better man. But she also manages to love me just the way that I am. You'll figure it out, man. I gotta go. Yeah, I'll see ya. See ya. Listen, things kind of took a turn here, so looks like I might be in New York for Christmas after all. Just um, call me when you can, okay? Sarah Cooper, are you on your phone at a party? Are you kidding me? Tracy posted her review of the Park View, and I couldn't help myself. The Park View in Silver Springs, Vermont, is sleek, modern, and chock a block with every luxury a traveler could hope for. Oh, what? Not a minute. From jacuzzi tubs in every room, the most novel cuisine in town, and a minimalistic and monochromatic design that frankly made me feel guilty for leaving my socks on the floor. There's more, I don't wanna read it. Oh, has Graham seen this yet? I hope not. Hey guys, come on, it's Christmas. Well, I mean, it's almost Christmas and uh, you, what, you're hanging in the corner on your phone? I get out there, have some fun. Buddy, the thing is... It, that... We couldn't help but be curious. Curious about what? Tracy's review on the park view. We only read the first couple paragraphs, but uh, mind if I have a look? Yeah. Thanks. Not to mention the fact that there are several dozen park view uh, around the world, which means there is a consistency and reliability to the high-end amenities. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I I thought she was well. I didn't think she'd do this. Nah, yeah, she's just doing her job. Anyway, you guys should get get out there, grab some food or something. I'm gonna take a walk. Okay. Yeah. okay. Sam, hi. Merry Christmas. Uh, can you hear me? It's kind of loud where I am. There's music. Merry Christmas. Is that all you have to say for yourself? I take it you didn't care for my review? care for it, not in the least. You just asked me for my opinion. I don't want opinion. I want a favorable review for the property that my company invested millions in. 
Wait, what? Hawks Voyage magazine was acquired a few years back by the Continental Resort Group, which owns the Parkview Hotel chain. Which means my boss wants good ratings. And as your boss, I expect there to be... Uh, actually, I might have to stop you right there, Sam. Listen, first of all, you're not my boss, and it was honestly a tryout piece, and, and you know what? I just don't think this is going to be a good fit. <laughs> Tracy, come on. Uh, Merry Christmas, Sam. Bye. Wow. That was impressive. Listen, Graham, I don't know how much you heard of that phone call, but I didn't mean to be unprofessional. I just, I was upset. I... Look, I was upset reading, right? It's... Parkview's got good food. It's good amenities. It's a good space. Graham, I... But in Silver Peak, Vermont, close-knit and welcoming community that offers so much more than the ski slopes nearby. The park view feels cold, soulless and isolating. But if you're planning to visit the area, consider staying at nearby Silver Peak Bed and Breakfast. Admittedly, the rooms are smaller, the offerings are simpler, and it's certainly not brand new. But it is, in a word, home. Not just to those who live there, but to anyone who steps over the threshold. Thank you. Well, you don't have to thank me. I just, no, no, I meant no, what I wrote. I... Not about the review, just, I mean, sure, the review's great. I'm sure it's gonna be good for business, but. Thank you for not leaving. Called the park for you, they said you left. Thought maybe you went back to New York. I thought about leaving. It's kind of the downside of my job. I can act like I'm just going to the next one, but I'm really running away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I realized. That you can be in the same place and still run away at the same time. I don't want to do that anymore. Neither do I. <sighs> Listen, I should have told you I was going to write a review for the Parkview Hotel from the get-go, and... I should have told you that Mark and I broke up, and Graham, I... And... and would you like to dance? Yeah, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> hey, how you doing? There you are. Thank you, sir. going to be the town's new photographer? <laughs> That's a good idea, but uh, no. I'm uh, just taking pictures for the new updated website. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I'm just trying to set my mom up for success before I leave town. Wait, leave town, where are you going? Yeah, you know, a lot of cities I wanna visit, a lot of sites I'd like to see, but to be honest, I just love to be wherever you are. So, uh, hey, I'm ready for my next adventure. Uh, how about yourself? You may be ready for uh, a new partner in travel. Oh, it's funny that you should mention that because now that I'm going to be directly competing with Lux Voyage magazine, apparently I might need a professional photographer. Oh, hey, I am readily available. Oh, fantastic. I'm hiring. Okay. okay. <laughs> spending all this time planning this big party, but now all I really want is just a moment alone with you. Yeah, I have plenty of those, right? I, I, I hope so. Listen, I wanted to tell you that. Just thank you. you know, for helping me find myself again. You're welcome, Graham. And thank you for helping me not lose myself. Yeah, I get lost with you anytime. 